Plainness theorem gives us the following result. A language is regular if and only if there is a finite automaton recognizing the language. We also have the result that if we have a set that is pairwise distinguishable over our language, then a finite automaton recognizing the language must have at least that many states. Since a finite automaton has a, well, finite number of states, this implies the following. Suppose we have a language and a pairwise distinguishable set with an infinite number of elements. Then no finite automaton exists that recognizes the language. So the natural question to ask is, are there such languages? And in fact, it's pretty easy to find one. So let's consider the language that consists of strings of ones and zeros where there are more ones than zeros, and we'll prove this is not regular. And we'll do that by finding a pairwise distinguishable set. So we can start with any string we want to, so let's start with the string one. Now consider the string, how about one one? We can distinguish one one from one by appending a zero, since one one zero has more ones than zeros, so it's in our language. while 1, 0 does not, so it's not in our language, so 1, 1 is in our pairwise distinguishable set. Now consider 1, 1, 1. Again, we can distinguish 1, 1, 1 from 1 by appending a 0, since 1, 0 is not in our language, but 1, 1, 1, 0 is. We can distinguish 1, 1, 1 from 1, 1 by appending 0, 0, since 1100 0 is not in our language, but 1100 0 0 is. So 111 1 is also in our pairwise distinguishable set. Now consider the string of four ones. And, as before, we can distinguish it from 1 by appending 0. We can distinguish it from 1 1 by appending 0 0. And we can distinguish it from 1, 1, 1 by appending three zeros. And so 1, 1, 1, 1 is also in our pairwise distinguishable set. And it should be obvious that we can form as large a pairwise distinguishable set as we want. But let's prove it. Remember, things that are obvious are often the things that are most necessary to prove. So our pairwise distinguishable set can be described as the set of one star, the set of all strings that consist of ones. We want to show that any two elements of this set are distinguishable, and we'll do this in two ways. First, we'll prove it directly. So we need to show that any two of the strings of one are distinguishable. Since we need to work with specific elements, consider 1m and 1n, where we'll assume m is greater than n. So remember, concrete never hurts. Suppose m is 8 and n is 5. Our analysis that led us to this pairwise distinguishable set suggests we can distinguish between the strings by appending n equals 5 zeros. So 8 ones followed by 5 zeros is in our language, but 5 ones followed by 5 zeros is not. And so in general, we note that if we append n zeros, we get the first string in our language, while the second is not. And so the string of m ones is distinguishable from the string of n ones. But let's prove our result a different way. Why? Well, there's several reasons. First, there's Gauss's dictum. First, prove your result any way you can then find a different proof. Remember, the purpose of proof is that proof reviews, reveals, and raises new questions. And, well, why not? It's better than doom scrolling. Now, as described, our pairwise distinguishable set has an infinite number of elements. As a general rule, there's a risk in dealing with infinite sets because things that are true for finite sets are not always true for infinite sets. So instead of trying to prove this set with an infinite number of elements is a pairwise distinguishable set, let's consider instead the finite sets P1, which consist of the string with just one one, 
P2, which consists of the strings 1, 1, 1, P3, which consists of the strings 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and so on, where Pn consists of all strings with up to n ones. And notice this is an infinite ordered list, which suggests we use induction to prove that Pn is a pairwise distinguishable set for all n. So clearly the set consisting of just a single element is a pairwise distinguishable set, which establishes the base step. Suppose PK is a pairwise distinguishable set. Let's consider PK plus 1, which includes all strings consisting of up to K plus 1 ones. In other words, it's everything up to K and then one more. Now, since PK is pairwise distinguishable, we only need to verify that this new element is distinguishable from all the others. But for any n less than or equal to K, if we append K zeros, we get something that is still in L. But for anything else, we get something that's not in L. So our new set is also pairwise distinguishable. And while it's not a big thing, it is worth noting that this proof gives us a slightly different viewpoint. Our first proof showed that any two elements were pairwise distinguishable. This proof tells us that given any pairwise distinguishable set, we can always find a larger pairwise distinguishable set.